Okay, Dr. Begill, what are the most common GI symptoms associated with alpha-gal syndrome? So the most common symptoms that we found in our um, study of patients who we had diagnosed with alpha-gal in the last few years were abdominal pain, diarrhea, um, and nausea and vomiting. Um, interestingly, we really didn't see, I, I had only seen one patient with urticaria um, and another group in Lynchburg who studied their, their patient population whom they had diagnosed with alpha-gal, only a small minority had typical allergy symptoms like um, bronchospasm or allergy. Um, and there too, the most common symptoms were abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. So that's what we're seeing. Okay. Are those GI symptoms often delayed in the way that other alpha-gal reactions are delayed? Or do they are, or is the onset more immediate? I would say that they are delayed. I mean, in my patients, not a single patient had thought that they had a problem with red meat. Um, so typically, um, if a patient kind of eats something and then gets sick right afterwards, eventually they'll make that connection. Um, but I think because alpha-gal is delayed and it is be delayed in the GI patients as well, it's really hard to auto-diagnose yourself. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.